Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878. And today we're going to be trying something uh, a little different, a little new. Uh, I've decided that I have not been doing enough reviews on the channel recently. And I, I really like to do reviews. I enjoy reviewing games. Uh, however, I, I've also noticed the trend of people generally not watching my videos past about 5 or 10 minutes. So what I've decided is I'm gonna. There's gonna be a new show that may technically not follow this this rule for this first episode since I've had to explain what it is. Uh, but it is going to be the five minute indie review show. This is where I take an indie game, I play it, and I review it in five minutes. That's just the gist of it. So you get you know the little slice of what the game's about, and you don't have to listen to me ramble for 20 minutes about it. Uh, but for today's show, and as you can see in the background, that's what you've been watching for the past 60 seconds, is the game called Overture, which is an indie, looting, dungeon crawler, roguelike, roguelite, uh, made by Black Shell Games. Uh, they also produced Sanctuary RPG last year, the first text-based RPG I think I've seen in 10 years which received some fairly good press and I have to say it was it was a gutsy game to to make and it was a, it was a halfway decent uh game to play and I actually was going to do an LP of it on my channel but things didn't work out. Uh but this new game Overture is kind of like a dungeon crawler roguelike and uh it's not bad gameplay wise it is it is pretty solid. Uh, there are 24 different classes that you can choose from. Uh, any any type of warrior or rogue or mage that you could think of, probably some that you couldn't think of, are available in this game to play. Uh, the controls are nice and responsive. Uh, the attacks are pretty cool. Each uh, class has a unique secondary attack, uh, whether that's you know turning into a demon or a wolf or spitting giant hammers out at people or fireballs or all kinds of stuff, toxic clouds. There's all kinds of cool secondary attacks. The primary attacks that do not require mana uh, are do get, tend to get recycled on some of the classes. Mo the majority of them have unique primary attacks, but there are some that are recycled. Uh, other than that, uh, the gameplay is really nice. The boss fights uh, can be a little unfair, I feel like, at some, at, at some points, depending on the class that you're using. But for the most part, all the, ba all the boss battles are, are fun and quite enjoyable. And it's, uh, it almost feels like a bullet hell game at some points. Uh, there's just so much stuff going on in the screen all at once, you kind of lose your character a little bit. Like, you know, like when everyone fires off their abilities all at once on uh, League of Legends. But uh, other than that, it's, it's a, the gameplay is real responsive, it's real nice. Uh, you, you do collect lots of loot throughout the game to make your character, your class better. Uh, and I feel like there is a, a pretty steady progression in that. From what I've played, you do tend to get better and better loot as you go, which is my biggest problem with, uh, well, it was my biggest problem with games like Diablo 3 and, and, and whatnot. Uh, as far as graphics, this game is uh, obviously just more of like a 16-bit, you know, pixely graphics. Um, it's not bad. It, it, it The game does it well. Uh, they're very smooth. And it, it really, um, you know, I, I don't mind the pixel art sometimes as long as it's done well and there's a good game behind it supporting it. I don't, I don't care to play a game with with pixely graphics. Just, just as long as the game is good, I'm all right with it. Uh, story, there is no story. You, <laughs> you proceed further into the dungeon. Uh, they might. I'm not sure what they have actually announced on this. Whether or not there will be a storyline added, uh, maybe even just like a bare bones, like, oh, go into the dungeon, you know, something that they could do. Uh, maybe not, though. I mean, even even something as bare bones as, you know, the Binding of Isaac, you know, wouldn't be so bad. Uh, music, it's, you know, your typical pixely uh, chiptune type music. Uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, it did get, I, I did find it repeatedly. He, you know, he did repeat it a little bit, and it was... I, I think I played the game for about four or five hours, and it, I did st it's, it did start to get a little bit annoying. There was a little bit of repetition, and I was like, eh. This is, like, it was alright for the first couple hours, but I'm over it now. Uh, replayability. 
As far as replayability goes, this game does have a lot of it, like every roguelike. You know, you spend 20 minutes on one class, you die, you go back, try out another one, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you've tried them all. And, and then, you know, you, you pick out the couple that you like, and then you, uh, you can actually invest gold that you earn in your runs to unlocking new characters and upgrading the power of the characters, the, the pre-unlocked characters that you already have. And uh, that, that's a great way to respect your time. That's my biggest problem with roguelikes and roguelites is uh, they, they, you know, some games will disrespect your time. You'll put an hour into the game and you die and you get nothing for it. Nothing. You start from scratch and it's like the time was never there. You just lost an hour. Uh, however, if you play this game for an hour, you will unlock gold to unlock, uh, not special abilities, but you will increase uh, the power of your uh, already unlocked uh, classes, which is really nice. I like that. You know, it's not a complete waste when you die, you know. Uh, but that that wraps up my quick five-minute review of Overture. Uh, I have to say, I, I really like this game. It was it, for, for five bucks... Or three ninety nine, three ninety nine, or four ninety nine. It was uh, it was a good purchase. I would buy it again. Um, I would probably give it a three and a half out of five uh, for the music and for the complete lack of a story. So other than that, though, the the gameplay is real tight. It's definitely a game that you sit down, play for twenty minutes, and then and then walk away. It's not something you're going to spend hours and hours, you know, chipping away at. But uh, but with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end it a few minutes late, but <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. The first official five-minute indie review. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.